Let's start by assuming that z is equal to x plus i y, where x and y are real numbers. Therefore, the given equation can be written as square root of x square plus y square plus x plus i y is equal to 3 plus 4 i. Now equating the real and imaginary parts across the left hand side and the right hand side, we get x plus square root of x square plus y square is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. Let's call these equations 1 and 2 respectively. Substituting the value of y obtained in equation 2. In equation 1, we get x plus square root of x square plus 16 is equal to 3, which can be rearranged as square root of x square plus 16 is equal to 3 minus x. Now take the square of both sides. We get x square plus 16 is equal to 9 minus 6x plus x square x square cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side and we get 6x is equal to minus 7 which implies that x is equal to minus 7 upon 6. Therefore z which is equal to x plus i y is equal to minus 7 upon 6 plus 4i. Next we will verify if this solution z is equal to minus 7 upon 6 plus 4i satisfies the original equation which is absolute value of z plus z is equal to 3 plus 4i. Substituting z is equal to minus 7 upon 6 plus 4i the left hand side is equal to the square root of minus 7 upon 6 whole square plus 4 square plus minus 7 upon 6 plus 4i and this is equal to the square root of 49 upon 36 plus 16 minus 7 upon 6 plus 4i which is equal to the square root of 49 plus 576 divided by 36 minus 7 upon 6 plus 4i which is equal to the square root of 625 upon 36 minus 7 upon 6 plus 4i which is equal to 25 upon 6 minus 7 upon 6 plus 4i And this is equal to 18 upon 6 plus 4i, which simplifies to 3 plus 4i, which is the right hand side of the given equation. We have therefore verified that z is equal to minus 7 upon 6 plus 4i is a solution of the given equation. And this is the required answer.